We're continuing our look at Avignon in Provence in the south of France. We're going to take you into some of the main shopping streets, the main boulevard, little side streets. It's got a variety of old historic lanes as well as some very modern places to see in Avignon. Enter the Porte de Rhone gate through the town wall, then turn right and you'll walk along a picturesque old lane with old houses from the 15th century. Turn right again, then left to Place Crillon, site of an excellent hotel you might consider for your visit, the Hotel de Rope. This is four-star deluxe, but has some moderately priced rooms, especially in the off season, when mm. prices could be half as much as during the summer high season. With many fine hotels in all price ranges and the strategic location, Avignon makes an excellent home base for visiting this Provençal region. Another hotel you might consider is the Mercure. It's right in the heart of town, just between the bridge and the main square. And it's a very comfortable three-star hotel, part of the vast core chain of French hotels and we found it was a very nice place, very clean, very modern, very friendly. A few blocks over, you'll find Rue Joseph Vernet, one of the main shopping streets of Avignon. It's got boutiques and galleries. And here's another fine hotel deal. It's the Hotel Mignon. It's just one star, but it's a chic property and very affordable in a nice neighborhood with galleries and such a long Rue Joseph Vernet. It's quite easy to find the Rue Joseph Vernet because it's just a few blocks to the west of the main shopping street of town, the Rue de la République. And yet many visitors might simply overlook this because it's not in the main tourist track of the historic monuments of Avignon. So be sure to get over a couple blocks to enjoy this lovely street. At the lower end, it's a little wider. It's got a lane for parking and one lane for through traffic. But for the most part, it's only one lane with wide sidewalks. Makes it a very pedestrian friendly neighborhood. The street is named after one of the most famous painters of Avignon, Joseph Vernet, who worked during the 18th century, noted for his seascapes. Now this street is really at its best late in the day and early twilight when you have that magical combination of street lights shop fronts busy people out walking and lingering twilight in the sky travelers are generally busy throughout every day so don't worry exactly what time to get here but make it a point to find the street it's good throughout the day, the shops stay open. Some close in the mid-afternoon for a brief siesta. We're still in the south of Europe, after all. In the morning, it's a lot quieter. So if you're out here at eight or nine o'clock in the morning, this main street really has a different character, a different quality than later in the day. And at night, it stays quite lively. It's a very safe spot. 10 o'clock, even 11 o'clock at night. Of course, the shops will be closed usually by about 8 o'clock, but the restaurants and the cafes and the bars are open. So be sure to pay several visits to this wonderful Rue Joseph Vernet. Be sure to walk a few blocks up and down Rue Saint Agricole, a classic side street which offers a delightfully similar environment of pleasant shops and leads to the main square of town, the Place de l'Horloge. The map shows you how these lively neighborhoods in the center of Avignon are very close together. You've got those main streets of Vernet and Agrico right next to the Place de l'Horloge. This is one of the most interesting parts of town. The very popular Place de l'Horloge has many cafes all around it and a mix of restaurants that range in quality from simple bistro to fine dining. And there's also a colorful carousel that's usually in operation here. And by now it's probably time to pick an appealing spot for dinner, complete your first day with a stroll along the main street of Avignon, that Rue de la République, 
which extends through the center from the train station nearly to the Pope's Palace in a straight line about one mile long. Lined with modern shops and various quality restaurants, it is the town center's busiest street. There are some restaurants and fast food choices along this broad artery, but wait until you get back to the main square, the Place de l'Horloge, before deciding where to dine. Of course, there are other dining places scattered throughout town, a bit less tourist-oriented than those in this main square, but locals eat here too. A perfect meal is the ideal way to end your day.